those who came first on this land they spent their almost time with nature nature was their true friend their true companion and it was familiar with them and they spent their time with nature because nature nurtures us like a mother nature treats us like a doctor nature guides us like a supervisor it is the great treasure of knowledge information instruction direction all the guidances and supervisions are provided by the nature which is well known by the professors scientists and those who are under research still now studying in foreign universities at the world level where there is conflict and contention there are so many tensions among the nations of the world but india is the first who creates the peace and prosperity in the world which contains the spiritual standard among the different nations it is the great performance of our indian mythologies as the great social reformers free thinkers four fathers four tellers four casters freedom fighters free thinkers those who came in this world they selected indian land because this is the indian land which has the greatest spiritual standard in the form of hidden latent and implied knowledge of spirituality our soul which is the most purest part of the body which can be felt with the meditation this is the method of meditation which provides peace of mind tranquility of heart it helps us it provides guides to maintain the peace of mind and heart if we have the spiritual words with us these spiritual words which are given in the holy bible if we read then we know that from where our soul has come and how the soul has created by five elements with air fire soil sky and water and ultimately these elements remingled and recreate through the recycling from the recycling these elements takes their place but the spiritual energy in the form of soul power we have inside our human body it is rightly said that a body is the temple of god and heart is seat of god because it is the nearest point in the soul that we have soul always with us everywhere with us in time place and action at every places we have soul with us and the existence of soul we can feel when if we repeat the god's word lord the sound in the form of waves of sound rays of light we feel the presence of lord in the human body this human body this human birth which is matchless incomparable extraordinary and uncommon because of special function and actions god has provided it to us simply if we have born it's the great blessing it's the great grace of lord but if we do the highest work with this words that is the meditation by the repetition of the words by listening reading writing and speaking attentively 
if we pay attention 100% present sense of mind in god's words then these god words heal us and provide us everlasting soothing effect of our mind and in all the holy scriptures of this land in the indian land it is said that our soul is immortal and unperishable this human body which is mortal and perishable it is temporary it is changeable but something is unchangeable and permanent in the body that is our soul so for the soul power for the energy of the soul we must pray to god we must repeat the god's words daily in our daily routine if we get up early in the morning then we must pray to god the power who is omniscient omnipresent omnipotent and almighty in past present and future in all the times he was he is and he will the same the same power if we feel in the day time with the universal bodies when we feel the presence of the sun in the form of the presence of the sun we feel the presence of the lord in day time and at night time in the presence of the moon the stars the sky we feel the presence of the lord a power energy who is always with us who is inside the human body that can be felt nowadays in this present time we are using social media facebook instagram youtube google sites and we are interconnected in 